I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is Psych Hacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is, people are as happy as they choose to be. Happiness is a choice. It's based on an internal turning toward reality as enough. So when we decide to predicate our happiness on external conditions, three things happen. We disempower ourselves, we rob ourselves of the potential for joy in that present moment, and we enter into games of control. Why is this true? First, if you believe that your happiness depends on external conditions, whatever they may be, then you are complicit in enshrining those conditions as masters over you. And as your masters, they will now be capable of either providing or withholding what you desire, which is a very disempowering position to be in. And this position can cause people to act in desperate or degrading ways. It's not something that you want. Second, it robs you of the potential inherent in the present moment. The core component of happiness is contentment, which is a turning toward the present moment as enough. That's it. That's all that's required to be content. And that makes sense. Think about it. If you needed certain external things in order to be happy, then happiness as an experience would have been inherently impossible throughout the vast majority of human history when those external things simply did not yet exist. If happiness were predicated on external circumstances, then the vast majority of human beings, even today, would not be capable of being happy. And that's not the world I observe. And finally, it forces you to enter into games of control. If you believe that your happiness depends on external conditions, well, then you're gonna do all that you can to make external reality, which generally involves other people, conform to your preferences. And this is something that is both expensive and ineffective. It's kind of like making water flow upstream. You can do it, but it takes a lot of energy. So it's generally more effective to work with the current of the river than it is to work against it. Instead, you can choose to approach happiness by turning toward the present moment as enough. What do you think? Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. And if you'd like to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at psychhackspodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.